External stakeholder trust and engagement. My name's Nader Nader Najad, and in today's video, we're gonna be delving into corporate diplomacy, or better yet, getting your stakeholders to trust you and understand that their objectives have been met. We're gonna talk about how to ultimately deliver on those objectives, how to meet communications goals, to boost stakeholder relationships, and ultimately drive shareholder value. So why are we talking about corporate diplomacy? Many of my videos are very tactical. They're, they're looking at individuals and helping them fix their online reputations, remove court records, suppress documents, bury news articles. So why are we talking about such high level corporate communications and, and about building stakeholder trust. Well, this is something I see many corporations do wrong. And there are corporations writing off hundreds of millions of dollars a year because they can't adequately manage their relationships with stakeholders. It's all about impression management. Stakeholder trust, I'll say it again, is about impression management. It's about the way other people perceive you. And it's about managing your impression by not only managing the social conversation that's out there, but the entire path that your stakeholder engages. So let me explain that. Your stakeholders need to be mapped. Every single one of them. You need to sit down and map your stakeholders. So you need to say, okay, where are my best stakeholders who are driving the most revenue? Where are my problem areas? And, and let's map that out. And then you need to sit down and create a balance sheet to really see where am I losing revenue? Where is this being affected? And is it worth it to keep engaging with these stakeholders? You need to sit down and find out on that balance sheet, well, if we were to repair these relationships or if we were to improve them, how will that affect revenue? And then when you sit there, you have a better idea. Now, you need to get down to the granular level. That's usually where most agencies will stop. That's internally where most corporations will stop. But you need to take that to the next level and say, okay, for each of my individual stakeholders, can we sort them into categories? Okay, now that we've done that, what paths do they go on and, 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 and how, do, how do we influence them? So let's say you have a stakeholder um, who searches you. They're looking at you on, they, they engage with you. So, so that's one way that, that they're gonna be influenced by you is they're gonna engage with you, they're gonna speak with you, they're gonna meet with you. So how can you, you know, alter that variable so that every time they engage with you, you're getting your hands dirty, you're really helping them and they feel helped and, and they feel like you're there for them. So that's one thing. But also, perhaps they're being fed media about you online. Perhaps they're monitoring the social conversation. The first page of Google, for example, maybe they have people who are searching for you frequently. So what we can do is we can actually create a suppression strategy of negative content and publish positive content on the web, ranking on the first page of Google and all other search engines, we can make sure that they're being served ads within their geographic area about positive things your company's doing. And not only that, we can segment and target those ads and use a geocache. We can use a fencing around their area to make sure that if they're there, they're being served your advertisements. So they're getting what they, appears to be objective coverage on the first page of the internet. They're getting better managed relationships when they're in that in-person or over video call interaction with you. And they're also getting that powerful full you know, they're being served ads. And we reverse engineer not only the outcomes of how your, your stakeholders are gonna engage with you, but we also reverse engineer, you know, their actions. So what actions do you want your stakeholders to take? And this can be done with stakeholder mapping software or it can be done manually. And the, the most powerful way isn't to download a software or use a corporate tool, it's actually to sit down with professionals and map out stakeholder relationships and how to influence them. One thing you need is, for example, external stakeholders is a very solid communication strategy. You should be communicating with them as frequently as possible. You need to survey, engage, and speak to your stakeholders, but you need to also work with them one-on-one -on -one so that they feel like you're giving them your time. And that needs to be managed. Human capital needs to be managed when you're engaging with your stakeholders. So there are so many different aspects to, to, to look at, to monitor, and to measure. But measuring aside, Regardless of all the operations within your corporation, you need to actually sit down with your team and discuss, okay, 
where are our gut feelings? You know, where do we feel like we can improve right before you go to the mapping process? So, my name's Nader Nader Najat. These have just been a few ways of how you can manage stakeholder relationships and boost trust by serving positive media, by posting content in places you know your stakeholders are going to visit, by engaging directly with stakeholders, and by mapping it out so that you know not only on an analytical level, but on an engagement level, which stakeholders are the most valuable, where you can work on things, and how you can set your company, your organization up for a better future. If you want to manage stakeholder relationships through media publishing and powerful communication strategies to reverse engineer stakeholder actions and influence outcomes, my name is Nader Nader Najad. Links down in the description below. Thank you for watching.